Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to go over the Google Home and how it functions with bad internet. So most videos out there, they never even mention like how good the internet needs to be or anything like that. Um, so for me, I got this Google Home free when I got my phone. So I've had it for a few months now, probably six-ish maybe more actually maybe more than that but i've had it over over half a year at least and um the thing about google home is it does need pretty decent wi-fi and i don't have that so i have like the worst wi-fi around but it can function sometimes so these are a few things that I've been able to do with it, and it does help. Um, I Earlier I was trying to make Netflix work, but it wasn't. So I don't know if that's a Wi-Fi issue or if that's something else. So I won't be able to show you Netflix. But the few things that I do do every once in a while with the Google Home are some stuff like uh, the weather or um, YouTube. So let me just unmute. The mic's back on. So one of the things that I would probably say is something like, hey, Google, how's the weather for the rest of the week? Today through Sunday in Los Angeles, it'll be cloudy most of the time, but tomorrow there'll be showers and on Saturday there'll be scattered showers. Highs will fall from 71 today to 59 on Saturday, then stay around 60 until Sunday. Lows will fall from 58 today to 51 on Wednesday, then stay around 48 until Sunday. Another thing that I sometimes do is I use it for translation. So I'll say something like, Hey Google, how do you say I'm hungry in Tagalog? I don't speak that language yet. See, so there's some limitations. Hey Google, how do you say I'm hungry in Chinese? So... Those are some things that I do. Um, obviously, it doesn't have all the languages in the world or close to that. Another thing that I do, like I said earlier, is uh, YouTube. So I'll say something like, hey, Google, play the latest SNL on YouTube on Luis's Chromecast. Okay, playing the latest SNL from YouTube on Luis's Chromecast. And so what we have here... It pulls up, and again, so all of this is working fairly well. Um, and right now, during this time of the day, it's around. So as you can see, there it goes. Hey, Google, turn off Chromecast. There you go. So as you can see, it does function fairly well. Um, but around this time it starts to go a little bit worse, I guess, my internet. Um, it's it's around the afternoon, so like one-ish. And uh, obviously you can see right there, it's more like two. And my point is that it can function, but I have really bad dips of when my internet gets worse, and that's usually later in the afternoon and uh, in the evening. So it doesn't function like it, it just keeps loading and loading and loading and it won't really work so these are issues that i think for someone that is looking to get a even a chromecast i'll probably do a video on a chromecast too but for someone that's looking to get a google home or a combo like i have with the chromecast um you should have better internet my internet the highest it goes i think is like five megabits per second so i mean that's really low and uh it's just my area um but like i was saying um this is just a quick view on how it is to have a google home uh with really bad wi-fi because i don't think there's any videos like that out there so hopefully this guys this has helped you guys make a purchase decision and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget don't forget to like don't like and subscribe thank you